podcast you're about to listen to is from a book series on post-qualitative, new materialist and critical post-humanist research. I'm Karen Meris and chief editor of this new Radlich series. You can find it on the following website, www.postqualitativeresearch.com. This chapter is from In Conversation with Karen Barad, Doings of Agential Realism, edited by Karen Meris and Vivian Bozalek. This is Walter Cohen. I am professor at the State University of Rio de Janeiro and one of the co-authors of one of the chapters of the book In Conversation with Karen Barad, Doings of Agential Realism, edited by Karen Morris and Vivian Bozalek. It's a pleasure and honor to be part of this book. Our chapter reads chapter Black Blood Matters, moving human and non-human bodies from question and answer to a pedagogy of questioning with uh, Roseanne Reynolds and Karen Morris. It was really a pleasure, first of all, to be part of this seminar, the seminar that was the basis of this book. It was not so easy. I traveled from Brazil to Cape Town, but we were stopped at the airport with my youngest daughter, Milena, because the documentation was not in English. The authorization from the mother to travel with me was only in Portuguese. And so we postponed one day and we arrived when the seminar was already begun. And I remember entering Karen Barat's presentation that was immediately before our pedagogy of the questioning session. So I was impressed by some of her concepts and some of the words she offered us. And also I was quite of impressed by the structure of the session. The place is just marvelous. It's very inviting for a educational and philosophical conversation. But I thought that, that there was something about how the chairs and the tables, the space was organized in this lovely place, Monkey Valley, that was quite an obstacle for our conversation. So I thought we needed to intervene on this structure. We needed to offer some difference in terms of the way we interact between ourselves and with the otherness that was around us. And in this sense, we offered a different structure. The writing of the chapter was also very beautiful, a lovely experience. And while I am, I am taping, recording this message, I am going through the pages of the book and now I am at our first page which exactly begins at page 41 of the book and it says right at the beginning 
they two of the research seminar. It's very interesting. When does the seminar begin? When does the seminar begin? When is the beginning of a seminar, of a research seminar? When is the beginning of a research? It seems that I arrived, as I said, to the research seminar already began. And here at the beginning of the chapter, it says day two. So, can something begin at number two? Should always the first number be number one? When do we begin to research, to think, to write, to be together in the world? The experience of writing this book or this chapter, as I said, was fascinating because of the number of times the text went through each of us three, Rosanne, Karim, and myself, because of the number of times we changed, even the order, the structure, the terms, the ideas we wrote. And I'm not so sure about the final version of this chapter, about its content, about the ideas, about the figures, about the words, about the questions. Because it seems to me that there is something incredibly alive in the process of writing this chapter. I cannot remember now when we began. I cannot say that it is already finished. Is it that things don't begin and don't end? Is this idea of beginning and ending something we might reconsider? Do these ideas of beginning and ending belong to a chronological understanding of the world? and to a linear perception we might probably enjoy putting into question. Is it beginning and ending ideas we need to reflect, to move, to question, to experience? under a beyond chronos order. I hope this invitation to read our chapter is also an invitation to think our experience of writing, our experience of researching, our experience of living, pedagogy and philosophy and also about experience of time. I wish you a loving rhythm, a questioning rhythm of this loving and pedagogical writing. Thank you for listening to this podcast. If you would like to know more about this chapter, please visit the website www.postqualitativeresearch.com and please stay tuned for future podcasts.